Oh, I'm Catherine, and I love to get on here and talk about my Saint makeup. I call myself a Saint makeup enthusiast. Saint calls us Saint artists, but I have the hardest time with that term. I don't know why, because I'm not a makeup artist, like professionally. I just am really, really, really passionate about this makeup. I love it. I want everybody to love it as much as me. And I love to share tips and tricks, things that work for me. I think that this makeup is so perfect for mature skin. And today I want to remind everybody that, whoop, oh, wrong way, that there's no rules to this makeup. We are not going to be doing the traditional contour and highlight and all that. We are going to start off with the Bella Bronzer. And this is a sheer product. I was thought I was gonna be able to sport, sport my bangs, but I just can't, so hold up. Um, this is the Blush Bronzer Brush, and I'm just gonna go straight in to, sorry y'all, my son is texting me from school that he doesn't feel good, and I told him to go to the nurse because the nurse needs to call me and tell him to come get me. I'm not gonna just come get him. Cause then they're gonna know that he was texting you from school saying he doesn't feel good. I don't want them to know that. <laughs> but he's like, I'm not going to the nurse. So I'm not going to get him. Okay, anyway, I am just gonna put a sheer layer of Bella bronzer all over my face. And this will just help even things out. This especially, I really like doing this when I have a tanner body from self tan but my face was either not tanned in the first place or it's faded because you know we wash our face and exfoliate so our tans don't tend to last quite as long on our face you know so this is just a more untraditional way of using your makeup and just having fun with it you know what i mean it doesn't have to be so contour goes here, your brightening highlight goes here. So if you're not familiar with the Saint makeup, then um, I mean, I want you to still watch this, but just know, I guess this wasn't the way it was created, but you know, how many times do I have to say no rules? You do what you want with your makeup and that's any makeup. And I do have a redder nose. So this bronzer will also help um you know tone that down just a little it's not gone but it's just toned down by the way these are creams except for this layer here which we will get to next is my main highlight this is the shade that mostly uh, matches your skin tone and i am actually going to be putting it on with this fluffy in just because i want it to be such light coverage and if you go in with a more dense brush like this end, it'll give you fuller coverage. And I want this look to be like a glowy, fresh faced look and not, not, I really don't want coverage. I just want it to look pretty and even and glowy and fresh. So we are going to put that main shade on my nose and then I'm gonna take my finger and go under my eyes with it. So I'm not gonna be using the brightener. I'm gonna be counting on the contrast from my bronzer and blush here in a second to help brighten up. And you'll see what I mean here. And then I'm just gonna pack a little more on that redness. We'll let that set. And then a little more coverage, just wherever you want it. Um, like so. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the bronzer again. This time I'm gonna go in with this end because this is a sheer product. This won't add coverage. And I'm gonna just place this where I want it. And I love to, you gotta bridge the gap. A lot of times our necks are paler than our, um, you know, chest and face because our chin will hide it. I like to get my ears. Don't forget your ears. 
And then even sometimes if I'm wearing really low cut, I'll just kind of put it on my chest a little bit and just give me a nice bronziness. I just love this stuff. Saint has four different shades of bronzer, but I feel Bella bronzer is just the most universal. I just love it. I almost recommend it to everybody. If you're sorry, y'all, I got a fuzzy. If you, oh! If you're super fair, then I'd probably recommend a different one. But mostly, I'm so sorry, y'all. Okay, we're gonna just flip this brush around and gently blend, blend in. Don't blend it out, blend it in. Just a nice, soft, beautiful bronze. I'm going to put a little bit more on this side. Some people just use bronzer as their bra as their uh, blush. Okay, and then even put some on my lids as a little shadow. We're going to go in next with this bright lip and cheek. And I'm even gonna use the fluffy in for this. It's pink, but it's pretty. It's called Dahlia. And I just fluff this on. I used to not like blush until I found this line of makeup. And I think it's the creams that I like. So there's probably lots of different cream blushes that I would like, but I mean, I'm so passionate about this makeup that, you know, I mostly just use these cream blushes. All right. I do have, um, is it uh, Fenty Rihanna's? I've got some of her cream blushes. I think I have a cream blush that's actually really close to this color. Just doesn't fit in my palette. That's what's great about this is the one palette and I love this eight size. I feel like when you first start out, you should get the eight because you have a little room to grow. This was my very first palette. I just, it means so, like I'll never get away from it or I'll never give it away because it just, just gives me, has good memories, you know? So this is a cream illuminator and it's called Honey. And I like to put my cream illuminator here on top of my cheekbone. And then I don't do it down my nose. I know some do. And I just put a little on my cupid's bow. You know what I forgot to do though? I do like to put a little bit of bronzer down the sides of my nose just to give a little, not a contour, but a little structure. Um, I don't know, because bronzer does give a little dimension, especially this bronzer because it's not super warm. It's a pretty neutral bronzer, in my opinion. Okay. Next, we're going to go in with this eyeshadow, and I'm just going to go straight in my lid with my finger, and this is the color Crush, and I just love it because... It is a nice soft shimmer and it doesn't show my texture on my lids. I do have hooded lids when I truly relax. When I'm looking at myself on a camera, I tend to lift my brows up just by habit. So it almost just makes your lids look wet. I like that, and it, but it's not super glittery. And let's go in with lips next. I'm going to take this bronzer. Some people use the bronzer just on their lips. I'm going to use this and just very carefully line. I guess I'm just using one brush. <laughs> I had another brush here if I needed it, but oh well. Then we're going to add a little pink to the bronzer. It's really pretty. I like Bella Bronzer and Dahlia together. Just reminds me of summer, y'all. So here's my thing. I love 
glowy makeup, but sometimes if it's too glowy, I can start to feel like my lines are accentuated or my pores. So I will go in and just specifically pat a little bit of powder, only in specific areas, not everywhere. I will always put a little down my nose because I don't want my makeup to rub off my nose. It tends to sometimes. And then I don't want my lines to be accentuated. This is called Vanilla Dust Setting Powder. It fits right in to your palette. So it's just great. You could just stick this in your purse and take it with you if you needed to touch up. But that's it. Uh, you could still do the little if you've seen any other people do videos with this makeup, a lot of times you can just clean up this area if you want a little more definition. But remember, we didn't contour. We just used a little bronzer. You could even go in and add a little more bronzer if you wanted to and deepen it up that way. Um, you know, just play around with it. Now that I've done that, hold on. <laughs> You just kind of fix her up how you want it and have some fun with it. Play around with your creams and see what you come up with. Again, I can color match you. You'll I'll put in the description the link um, to my color match, but you have to copy and paste it because I've got like 15 subscribers, maybe not even, and so no clickable links. You. <laughs> <laughs> you have to uh, copy and paste it up in the browser. I'll also share my Instagram handle. So that's it. Now go play with your Saint makeup or go and order some or ask questions. Just let me know um, if I can help in any way. Okay, y'all have a great day. Bye.